And what are your thoughts about this video? We are humans, you know. Once we remove our canvases until we become humans to a point where if something happens to your brother, you feel the pain, then that's when you realize that the world is ready to, to come together. Hey you, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Kigan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny Fanny Jesse. Jesse. Today we're going to react to uh, Chris Brown shocked Arab Muslims on music show. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. On December 22nd, 2023, a huge concert was organized by the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. Many well-known celebrities were invited to that concert, and among those celebrities was the American singer-songwriter Chris Brown. The concert was a huge success, as huge crowds from within Dubai, as well as from all over the world were very excited to attend it because of the large scale of preparations made by the UAE government to make the event as enjoyable as possible for the audience. But an act by Chris Brown made the audience attending the event realize the level of Iman as well as the humanity left inside of him. Just before the show was about to end, Chris Brown tried to remind people and spread awareness about the ongoing war in Gaza. I just want to say this real quick. There's a lot of evil and a lot of genocide going on in the world right now. I encourage all my young brothers and sisters to love one another, be positive. Not because somebody's watching, but because it's in here. I appreciate you guys. You guys are like family. You listen to our five music, you watch us perform. We appreciate everybody. So with that, inshallah, mashallah. While on stage, he stated that there is a lot of evil and a lot of genocide going on in the world right now. Chris Brown encouraged his audience, especially the younger generation, to adopt love and positivity. He also conveyed gratitude for the support received from his fans. In today's times, it's not at all hidden that if any celebrity or politician dares to speak against the ongoing oppression, even without naming the state of Israel, then too, he will face negative consequences. Still, in that concert, Chris Brown dared to raise awareness among his audience to not forget about the devastation that is going on in Gaza. The concert was sponsored by Coca-Cola, a company that has had ties with Israel since the 1960s. It was held in Dubai, where the majority of the population follows Islam. Attending music concerts is in itself prohibited in Islam, as it involves music, free mixing, and takes away from the hearts and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now it becomes even more wrong when one part of the Ummah is facing unthinkable situations. And the least thing that the rest of the Ummah should do is to constantly make dua for them. But here we see the Muslims of the UAE and even from many other Arab nations enjoying themselves and having a jolly time as if nothing wrong is going on. Some so-called liberal Muslims may point out and debate that if the people of Palestine are having troubled times, then why should we stop enjoying ourselves? To them, our answer is that if a Muslim doesn't feel restlessness because of the pain his brothers and sisters in Islam are going through, then there is high doubt about the level of Iman that he has inside his heart. Because a believer is not a believer if he is not grieved by the grievance of another believer. And Nu'man ibn Bashir reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, The parable of the believers in their affection, mercy, and compassion for each other is that of a body. When any limb aches, the whole body reacts with sleeplessness and fever. The people of Gaza are living in tents in this cold weather. They don't have food nor enough water. The remaining are either under rubble or in the hospital. 50,000 pregnant women have nowhere to give birth 
to their babies. And above everything, they are constantly targeted through heavy airstrikes. And still, there are hundreds of Muslims who have forgotten their plight and are busy having a good time. Apart from Chris Brown, other musicians and rappers like Coldplay Band, DJ Snake, and Macklemore have also dared to show their support for the Palestinians by using the stage on which they were performing as a means of spreading awareness and displaying that even while performing. They did not forget about their sufferings and distress. Chris Brown and the musicians mentioned do not follow Islam, but the sufferings of the people of Gaza were still on their minds. They spoke for the Palestinians cause, knowing that they might bear consequences for it. It also might be their last concert, yet they did because as human beings, they felt the need to do so. It's a shame that Chris had to remind the Muslims present at the concert not to forget about Gaza. This is the sad reality of the state of the Ummah today. And this is the reason why a Gazan once said that people should worry about the state of the rest of the Ummah instead of us. Because in reality, they are the ones who are truly at loss while the Gazans are not. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate the status of our brothers and sisters in Palestine. Ameen. What do you think about the whole thing? I guess that's what you call humanity, do you understand? Yeah, you don't have yeah. to belong to a certain religion yeah. to recognize that yeah. okay, people are being killed in Zambia, in Kenya, in Malawi, do you understand? And um, I think for celebrities though, it takes a lot because anything you say people attack you even if it's right people will still yeah. attack you and um he didn't actually did he say gaza or he just said there's too Palestine. much about gen genocide going on no i'm asking if you mentioned any particular i think he mentioned palestine did he i don't know but I think he mentioned because you know sometimes i'm very careful with what they want yes 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 do you understand and I don't know if Kim Kardashian comes out today and says, okay, maybe Gaza this, she's attacked. So people are afraid. <laughs> I feel like people need to humble themselves. Do you understand? But um, I'm trying to understand something. So this was in Dubai, yes? And I guess Dubai went through this Coca-Cola event because you know how Dubai is. It's... um full of culture there's too many people that are there so should they have not had this concept no i think um yes it's a cultured um city and country but because of the uh By culture, international, you know, the international international people involved yeah, yeah that's what know, i was trying to say especially dubai is a place where it's it's, it's a tourist attraction do you understand and they they actually encourage people to come in and see and visit you understand and that's how they actually make their revenue out of all these visits that people come and see and 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 and, and, and tend to to enjoy the atmosphere and whatnot so such kind of things they are meant to happen and if there is a coca-cola arena in dubai what does that even mean it means that they, they can decide to put any kind of concert there it's only if, uh, at your own discretion that you can be able to go and participate in that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You know. And what are your thoughts about this video? Your 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 sentiment, uh, precisely. The. I mean, we 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 are humans. You know, once we remove our canvases until we become humans to a point where. Um, if something happens to your brother, you feel the pain, then that's when you realize that the world is ready to, to come together. Do you understand? For example, like what, what just happened, Chris Brown is a whole celebrity, man, like he's a superstar. Do you understand? And he's actually uh, jeopardizing his, his career by just trying to talk about these kind of things. 
you never see an A-list celebrity trying to mention or try to... He's A-list. He's an A-list. No, I'm saying you'll never see other than him, mm -hmm. other A-list celebrities trying to pick a side. Do you understand? Most of the people, mo most of these A-list celebrities will pick a side that belongs to, uh, you know, the... the uh, whatever the deep state and whatnot but when you look at the whole i mean this uh, the video over here it, it shows how uh human chris brown is and how humble he can get to a point where he's just trying to tell people please man we live in a world of you know crazy things are happening right now and lots of people are dying let's just love one another let's protect each other and let's spread love you understand and if everybody spread the word love to everyone out there, everything is going to be amazing. And I know lots of people will try to criticize him because of uh, why is he standing on stage trying to talk about certain things. Uh, he, he beat Rihanna, he sings songs about sex and all those kind of stuff, do you understand? I know there are kind of people who are going to come at him like that. but there are some things you don't have to <laughs> you don't have to look at it in that direction okay once someone stands and speaks sense regarding to what is happening around the world let's focus at that particular moment and point do you understand it doesn't uh, don't uh, I mean don't hate the message you can hate the messenger do you understand take the message the way like for example if a drunkard comes to you and gives you a positive message yes take the message you can hit the i mean you can decide to not go with his ways of living or his ways of lifestyle but try and look uh, critically take the uh the message that has been con conveyed by that drunken person and, and 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 make use of it do you understand so anyway um it really saddens me what is really happening in Palestine it's really crazy that I mean it's a whole story it's a whole like a topic to just talk about but yeah because it's been going on for a long time yeah, yeah, this thing Gaza has, Palestine thing is I mean it, it it's it, to a point that it doesn't even make sense at all you know to to and I don't know man because some people are talking about Israel was never a country you know, like hundred years back in those days, just it was created by some people, and now look at it; it's very powerful. No one can touch. Like you're telling me, no one can touch Israel. You know why? Because the, it's the people who 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 control the world are the ones who actually uh, fund Israel, fund these wars. You know, buy they they can buy anything. Do you understand? I even sure the people the people who there are some people in Palestine who have been bought also you know not to try and go against Israel do you understand what I mean so I, I don't know all, all uh, what I can say is that let's just have peace let's love one another let's just stay, stick together if you see a brother going down help the brother if you see um, any evil try and protect um, um, whoever you feel like is weak, protect them, push them up. And I think if you can do something about something that's happening, then yeah, go on and do something about it. But if you can't, I mean, prayer. Yeah, if you can't, there are many ways to to do things. If you can't be able to, even 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 a single just uh, prayer, it it sends a uh, I mean it creates an impact. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think it's. Uh, I think what Chris Brown did was just good. Yeah, it was really yeah, good. Whoever is trying to criticize, whoever is trying to, I don't know, but still, he was put there for a reason at that particular um, moment. What I can say is shout out to the people that have voices and actually speak. Yeah. For those that, for those whose Who voices voiceless. can't be heard. Yeah. You understand? You've got the platform, speak out. It doesn't mean yes, go with what Chris Brown said. Speak up for things that you feel like are right. 
or you know are right for the good rather speak up for yeah. the good that you want to see in this world let us know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and deuces hey yo what's up everybody welcome back to another reaction video it's your boy Jesse Keegan No, I'm just going to edit this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do me like that.